What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to get right back into the action, but first, I just want to send a quick shout out to my sponsor for this video, Carbonox Watches. Have you ever thought to yourself, gee, I'd really like a smartwatch that wasn't built for total pansies? Of course you have. Carbonox sent me the Titan model to try out. Titan model. I've always been very hesitant to get a smartwatch because I spend so much time off trail in the back country. I'm always banging, 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 banging the watch on something. And I thought, what if the screen gets cracked or scratched? They just don't seem very durable. So first of all, this watch does everything that a normal smartwatch does. I can check my steps. I can check my messages. There's my wife asking me to pick up wine. I can play my music. I can control my cell phone camera. The most important thing is that it is super durable. It has a Gorilla Glass casing over the screen. It has a tough body and also a stretchy wristband. Just in case it gets caught on something, it's got a little give. It's great not only for an outdoor enthusiast, but also for people who work tough jobs like carpentry, construction, welding. Another thing I really like about the watch is that a full charge will last you for 14 to 15 days. So you don't have to charge it every night. It's got this cool magnetic charger that comes with it. It's also important that it's really affordable. Right now, this Titan model is running for $104.95. Carbonox was also nice enough to send me a discount code that I will list in the description. So the watch is super tough. It's also waterproof. So there you go. Go check out Carbonox watches. Check the link in my description. See if it's a good fit for you. Thanks again to Carbonox watches for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back into the action. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Back out my little uh, bushcraft fort here. I'm going to be adding to this a little bit. I have a goal today that I want to remove the paracord and replace it with jute twine, which is 100% biodegradable. That way I can leave the frame up and not have to uh, feel bad about it. I'm going to add a little bit more to the shelter as well. We're going to make a fire. We're going to have some beers. We're going to spend the night out here. But before I do any of that, I've got to take a little nip off of the old banana flask. Crown Royal this time. All right, let's get to it. I do want to lift this up just a little. We're just going to go with what this tree is since that's what we got. So many airplanes out today. There's a yellow 
deflated fallen balloon over there. It's always so freaky out here in the woods. I know it's not red, but it always, it, I, I keep looking at it and it makes me think of that It movie. But I have to go grab that and throw it in my garbage. Hopefully this stuff's strong enough. Honestly, I, I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna work, so we're gonna find out. All right, now this side's gotta go up. might be thinking I could take this pole and line it up against that pole and cut them the same height but I can't because the ground is slightly lower over here so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to make this pole over here as level as possible using the paracord and then we'll line up this support branch over here and we'll cut it that looks to be pretty close we're going to call that good. Okay, we're gonna call that good. All right, so I had intended to do a little bit more work here on this uh, shelter, but it's starting to get a little late. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Go ahead and get my tarp set up. Get all of like uh, my sleeping pad, sleeping bag, everything going down there. Go ahead and get my fire going, cause I'm hungry and I kinda wanna eat. And kinda wanna have one of those uh, beers, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so I got this last piece of paracord here. Oh, doggone it. I forgot to remove this piece of paracord. <clears throat> So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I had intended um, to build the shelter up some more, so maybe when I come back uh, next trip, I can start building on it a little bit more, but for now, I just kinda wanna settle into less building, more uh, fun camping stuff. So we're gonna get the jute twine on here, and then I'm gonna use this piece of paracord to string my tarp across, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into a fire, we're gonna get into cooking, and we're gonna get into beers, if you know what I'm talking about.
Okay, so what I decided here is we're going to do a couple of Canadian jam knots on either of the top corners just to make things go just a little bit quicker. Yep, that's not coming loose. Pretty good from up here. That is an easy way to do it. Now we're going to do the back. I got a Tyvek ground sheet, um, bought this one, haven't used it yet, but everybody told me in the comments this was a good thing to buy, so I'm going to try it out. Boy, it's loud. Wow. That is ear piercingly loud. That's not a bad little cozy sleeping spot, if I do say so myself. This is so many good pieces of dead wood, perfect firewood, just laying all over the place. And that, add that one for good measure. And if I need any more than that, it's just a few steps away over there.
boy. It is about time for one of these Jackie O's Raz Wheat, Wheat Ale with Raspberries. Goodness sakes. That is good stuff. Woo! Now we're camping. That's one down. Ooh. Fire's picking up. Moment of truth. Oh, man. Goodness sakes. That makes it all worth it right there. Yeah. 
Woo! Oh, that is hitting the spot. I'm gonna turn the headlamp off. Mrs. Bananas always tells me not to look directly into the camera with the headlamp on, so I blind people. Anywho, it's funny how easy it is to cook something when you're deep frying it, basically. Hard to mess that up. Oh, come on, smoke. Come on, smoke. I get these videos done when I have the time, so when you see them, it might be a couple weeks after the camp sometimes. Hopefully I get this out sooner than later. If you have the time, please go check out the video that uh, Kevin over at Small Plots made a little parody video about me. It's short, it's two minutes long, but I was dying of hysterical laughter. It was so funny. I'm gonna link it in the description. I know it'll be past the, the time when this video comes out, but you know, if you got time and you, and you want it and you want a good laugh and you're a fan of my channel, go watch this video. I'll link it in the description. Check, check down below. I also wanted to make sure I tell everybody I get a lot of questions about gear, the gear I'm using in the videos. I try to link as much as possible in the description. Sometimes I forget stuff. So just ask me a question and I'll update it. I'll give you a link. I respond to like basically almost everybody in the comments. Unless you're like a mean jerk that's just totally trolling me, then uh, the, then you get a response uh, from me in the comments. And I don't mind at all hearing, hey, try this. You could have done this in a different way. Maybe next time try, try doing it this way. I do not mind that at all. That is uh, awesome advice. It doesn't mean 100% that I'm gonna take it but I will always listen to it and I absolutely have no problem hearing that. So um, thank you for all the people who who um, have given me that advice. A commenter, and I apologize, I, I don't remember your name right now, told me to get this Tyvek ground sheet and it's noisy as all get out. It sounds like uh, tinfoil, but um, all the reviews online said uh, it's super tough and it just stands up to uh, um, little things poking through. So whoever you were, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to um, finish this food. I'm gonna stoke the fire up one last time. That's probably gonna be it for the night because I'm whooped. If anything cool happens, I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know and film it. Otherwise, check back with you in the morning. Cheers. Oh, good morning, everybody. Had some trouble sleeping. It wasn't because I was uncomfortable. I don't know. I was tossing and turning all night. I slept in kind of late here. I'm actually packing up and heading to a new location. Pretty tired. For <laughs> We're doing all that. But I need to because I got this time scheduled out for camping. So this is actually the start of day two for a camping trip for me. Oh, I'm going to drag my butt out of bed and get all this crap torn down because I gotta leave. Yep.
This pillow from Outdoor Vitals finally failed. I've used it so many times. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy another one, but what I'm gonna do, but I need to have some kind of pillow because it's just not good for my neck. I'm out here so much. Um, I need some, some kind of support for my head. So you guys have a favorite um, outdoor camping, backpacking pillow? Let me know in the comments. All right, everybody, that's another one in the books. Camp's all torn down, fire is completely out. Um, dumped my last of my water. Boy, is this pack lighter without a six pack of beer and two liters of water. I appreciate everybody tuning in. I'm getting ready to head to my next campsite. Thank you everybody so much who watches the channel. I appreciate all of you in the comments. It means the world to me. If you're watching the channel and you have not hit that subscribe button please do so it really really means the world to me and it's it's the number one way that you can uh, help support the channel so thank you so much we'll catch you on the next one bye everybody